I think we may have found ourselves a very upset member of the itty bitty titty committee. And I can't wait to find out how that's gonna result in her death. Like, I, I can't really recommend apples as a good substitute, because they're lumpy and awkward. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but you don't want guys to envision your chest as having the texture of cottage cheese. Maybe you could try inflating them? Just a little bit, you know, everything in moderation. Otherwise, you might end up in orbit. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Death Incoming, where I gotta be honest with you, I'm not doing this job for the money anymore. Now that I've worked my way up to having a big dick bank account and a baller penthouse suite, really everything that I would need to impress the undead ladies, I've realized that the one thing I want most is to watch stupid people die stupid deaths. So I guess we're just gonna have to get back to work. So we found ourselves a woman who only has a reflection when she strikes a pose. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that her light is completely foobar. Like, I'm death incarnate, not a light biologist. But what I do know is fashion. How about we start you off with a little pink number? Something that matches your shoes? Something has to, because those knee-high burlap socks that you're wearing are really not doing it. All right, then how about we dress you up like Jigsaw? I'm sure you'll jump into the light. I thought she was a vampire, not a Harlem Globetrotter. I know being the Grim Reaper means I'm a little old, but I never thought I'd be this out of touch with the generation. Like, not only is the whole pink high heels and burlap socks trend really confusing to me, but why do people keep bringing meat with them fishing? Like, I, I just don't get, what's the best case scenario for that? We know the worst case scenario. What do you guys think is at the bottom of the lake? Are, are we thinking, like, crocodile, alligator, shark, Jason Voorhees? Like, it, it could really be anything. But I'd be willing to bet if we switch her bait, then she'll probably pull up a whole lot more than she bargained for. Uh, okay. Well, she's consistently catching piranha now, but the problem with that is piranhas, plural, in the water are dangerous. Piranha, singular, out of the water is pretty much a toothy fish fillet. <laughs> so what else can we do here? There's gotta be a reason that there's a perfectly shaped honey nut Cheerio beehive up here. Maybe we can give it a splash of water and then they'd be willing to be a little bit more active? No, can I weigh it down? Okay, and then you'll just hop in with all the piranhas that you've been pissing off. You see what I mean? A piranha's dangerous. Even though I can only see one. In all reality, it's the size of a friggin' basketball, so it's probably all you need. I used to think the lucky wheel would only ever appear after I orchestrate a really unique death. You know, something creative, so it acts kind of like a bonus to me. But now I'm thinking it might just be taking pity on me. Now, I gotta collect a soul out of fish poop, so immediately after that, so I can wash my hands, then give it a spin, and hope for something that isn't money, honestly. I get money every single time. I never thought I'd be complaining about getting money. Come to think of it, I should probably mention that I know I can customize the Reaper, okay? People have been leaving hundreds of comments telling me that I can, but I don't want to. You know, I don't want to look like a pumpkin or a clown or Jason Voorhees. I want to look like the Grim Reaper because I'm the Grim Reaper. They solicit these skins to me after every like third level, so it's impossible not to know. But what I hadn't realized is that there's something called Death Tycoon. There's no explanation as to what it is, and nobody seems to fully understand, but for 5,000 coins, I can unlock a level of hell? Maybe? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, we got a soul working to drop some money in a chest? Okay. I, I don't know what the point of that is. I guess at the end of the episode, we'll see how he's coming along. Maybe we can open up a chest and get 500 coins back? All right, I see how it's gonna be. Who was the wise guy that decided to make the ringleader look like me? But yeah, he might not have the beard, but he's got my old hairstyle. He's rocking the Captain Sauce colors, and he's trying to pound a pussy. That sounds exactly like me. 
<laughs> you know what? How about you take this rock and beat yourself to death with it? It'd save you both a whole lot of time. Are you sure you don't want to take a pebble to the temple? It's a whole lot less painful than a mauling. Honestly, I'm fine with this. I wanted to see how you were gonna manage to get yourself killed using a push broom. <laughs> Please, show us how it's done. Oh, you short circuit the electricity, you open the cage, before you know it, I'm lion poop. Honestly now, what is with this lion and sneaking up on people that look like me? He's made his way into the Canadian wilderness where I seem to be having a late night picnic of steak, water, steak, and chicken. Don't mock my great nation's cuisine, okay? I don't suppose we could pay you off in meat, could we? Yeah, that's good. No, he wants the chicken. And I can't move the chicken. I might be able to put out the fire under the chicken and then the fire was the only thing scaring away the lion. Okay, great. Now my insides are outsides. Okay, this is a little different. You know, it's not every day that I get to kill somebody underwater. So we've got a diver, we've got a very big clam with a volleyball-sized pearl, don't mind if I do, as well as a happy little octopus. Don't suppose we could give this guy the anime girl treatment? Not quite what I meant. I was thinking more so tentacles in the butt as opposed to like a money shot in the face, but I guess that's something. I might need to move this out of the way. Cause it's, yeah, it, it, it's stopping it from opening. So now you can go inside and get crushed to death. <laughs> it wasn't worth it for the pearl. Like, trust me, I was tempted. I almost wanted to go get it, but I'm not a stupid person looking to die a stupid death. It looks like we've got another wise guy on our hands, folks. Like, he likes to think just because he's a ginger, he can go dancing in a thunderstorm with an umbrella. And then what's the worst that could happen? The odds of him getting struck by lightning are pretty low, and the odds of me being able to collect a soul are even lower. <laughs> we'll show him. Like, how about we take something like this, which seems to be pretty active, and then we'll swap it for your umbrella? Or you could just shrug it off and then bottle flip it back up onto the roof. <laughs> All right then. Well, I might not be a wire biologist, but I can tell you right now, they shouldn't be sounding like that. Or like anything at all, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> How about we take this and put it up there, then... I mean, he wasn't wrong. He didn't get struck by lightning, but I did get a soul. <laughs> and it's a perfectly good one. Have you guys seen the new Osimo 5000? Like, not only does he now casually smoke at parties, but he also accelerates at sanitizing chicken. We might want to do something about that. Uh, how about we give this to you? No, no, it's not a party right now, I suppose. Then how about we get rid of the chicken because you're doing a whole lot of spraying there. You, you can eat that. I'm sure it's not that poisoned, right? Oh, oh, um, that was intentional because I'm the Grim Reaper and I want to kill people. So I, I, I fully planned that the entire way and I'm a genius, you're welcome. I heard that because of the pandemic, it was really difficult to order any kind of home gym equipment, but I don't think some kind of circus strongman game is an adequate substitute. <laughs> Looks like we can either give him Gatorades or spinach. Uh, let's refuel those electrolytes, shall we? Drink up. Maybe it's liquid steroids. Maybe it's, uh, not gonna make much of a difference. Getting up to about 3,000 now. I don't know what your last record was. Maybe if we change this from metal to wood, then you would be able to reach 4,000? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, how about we give you a little spinch? There we go. Oh boy, yeah, you're gonna pop by it and that's making a pretty big difference. <laughs> and he bludgeoned himself to death with the wood. What would have happened if I left the metal there? Could I have caved his head in even more? Now I wish I could find out. <laughs> there is no control Z as the Grim Reaper. It sucks. Only God has that power. 
I think we may have found ourselves a very upset member of the itty bitty titty committee. And I can't wait to find out how that's gonna result in her death. Like, I, I can't really recommend apples as a good substitute, because they're lumpy and awkward. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but you don't want guys to envision your chest as having the texture of cottage cheese. Maybe you could try inflating them? Just a little bit, you know, everything in moderation. Otherwise, you might end up in orbit. <laughs> What? Sometimes in this line of work, you just need to take a step back and ask yourself, uh, how have I gone from sending a lady into space aboard her tits to watching Rickle Pick take a dump on a plane? <laughs> Should I just flush him? If I hit flush, is he gonna get sucked down? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't think bathroom toilets are supposed to do that. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, he's perfectly fine, okay? It was just a setup to sue the airline. <laughs> now that we have our insurance fraud money, I'm thinking about buying this lady a nose? Or maybe makeup to let her draw on a nose? <laughs> In the meantime, I'm seeing some poison back here that we might be able to put into your drink while you're looking away, and then you can have a sip on that and <gasps> die. Really appreciate it if you- oh, okay, I meant like die, die, not undead, die. Do I get two souls for that or just the one? Can I at least have his head back? Ooh, what do we have here? A, a happy newly wed couple? Or maybe a happy man and his mistress? <laughs> Looks like the dumpy wife is home. I don't think you really want to give her flowers. I'm pretty sure you would rather a stiff breeze come through this room somehow and blow that drape over. There we go. And she just happens to carry around a Molotov cocktail for this exact situation. It's called a Husband Be Gone. You can get them at Walmart, 1999. It's crazy. You know times are weird when you can't immediately tell if somebody is a Canadian or a Texan. That being said, I'm gonna give him a nice warm cup of coffee. This hipster looks like he's a little cold. No? Would you like a fresh ballpark Frank up the butt? Not quite, okay. Well, at least he has a whole lot of energy to continue shoveling snow onto his neighbor's property. It's a bit of a dick move. Oh, I can probably put the coffee in the snow, melt it, and then he'll slip and bust his head. It's not a very flashy death, but it definitely happens. Now, if you want a flashy death, you gotta go for the guy who's chewing gum and walking at the same time. It just so happens that he's walking on six foot tall stilts over a bunch of punji sticks. I don't suppose I could get you to trip on a conveniently placed piece of fruit? No? Okay, maybe I can get you to stop and have a bite of fruit? No, doesn't want to get rid of his gum. That's awkward. Oh no, he just didn't like apples. Okay, now you can step in that and ooh dear. <laughs> I think they're actually supposed to be tree stumps, but close enough. With all other context removed, which of these two items do you think is deadlier? The giant knife or the apple? Now, considering the context of this happening around the time that somebody's probably undergoing some crazy void rage, I kinda wanna see him use an apple. Could you bludgeon a nurse to death with produce? No, for a second there, I thought that was gonna work. Okay, well, if you put the knife there, then I'd be willing to bet it's probably gonna do a somersault right into her head. Oh, well, la-dee-da. I'll Take two, but at the end of the work day, so I only get one, I really need to plan these things out better. It's actually amazing that the second The Witcher 3 became popular, all these fully grown women went out and started buying themselves stuffed unicorns. I don't wanna know what kind of terrible things you've been doing on the back of that. How about you just step on a Lego brick for me? That'd be a real convenient death, or maybe you could suffocate on a balloon? No? Don't consider yourself to be a bit of a turtle. Okay, uh, could I maybe have you step on it? Oh, I stopped it from rocking. Oh, well then, what if I do something like that? You see, this is why you don't buy full-size stuffed unicorns. They're dangerous, that thing weighs like a thousand pounds. 
What kind of bunk art class is this? There's only one student and the teacher is asleep. <laughs> like, I don't suppose I could give this to you so that you could wake him up. Yeah, maybe teach something. Come on, Point Dexter. <laughs> the class is almost over. No, the class is over. Okay, she's gonna leave and you are gonna get crushed to death. Okay then, that works for me. I am here for death instead of education. Oh, it's the power men. Isn't that what they were called? Those guys that would go around to schools ripping phone books in half to heavy metal and then talking about Jesus? Really awkward. That's not a Canadian thing, by the way. That's just something that I've seen from people online. I think they would do a whole lot better if they were hammering pizzas into each other's junk. Oh, ow, okay. They literally both died from getting hit in the balls. And once again, I pissed away the double. That should have been two souls. That should have been two crust testicular souls. I can't even speak. I'm losing my mind. This game is ruining me. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Death Incoming, guys. These were definitely some of the funniest levels that we've seen yet, but I get the feeling we're nearing the end of the game. There might not be too many more stupid people for us to deliver stupid deaths to, but if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll open up my chest and get 500 coins soon. Wait, is that it? It's really just... 500 coins? Come on, guys! I thought I was paying you for more than that! But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.